Hi there, I'm Patrick Brandt. I'm the Director of Career Development and Outreach at the University of North Carolina, and I'm going to show a couple of tricks for and tips for using LinkedIn to search for connections. This will be um, particularly of use to uh, a trainee uh, committee that is planning uh, a big networking event for later this month, and I'll show how you might be able to make connections or, or make contacts at companies um, where you are interested in finding a speaker, for example. So we are going to go to LinkedIn now. And let's say that, well, let's say we're gonna clear this search that we have here so far. And let's say that we're interested in um, learning of finding somebody who works at Genentech. So we can type in Genentech. And then you want to, oops, I spelled it incorrectly. You want to look for Genentech as a company, um, not in the people or the jobs search, but let's do it first as a company. When you come to Genentech's website, over here, you'll see, first of all, if there are any people that you are a first order connection with. So if I click on this, then it'll show me all of the people at Genentech that I am connected to. And by clicking on any of their um, profiles and then clicking on contact info, assuming that they have their privacy settings um, set to the default, I'll be able to see the, the email address that they use to log into LinkedIn. Sometimes people will choose to hide that email address even to their first order connections. All right, let's go back though. Say that you don't have any connections at the company, but you can click on this other one um, to see all the employees that are on LinkedIn. Now it'd be great, say you didn't have any first order connections at Genentech, but you wanted to see if there's somebody that you know well who could introduce you to somebody that they might know at Genentech. This is um, an offer that Becca Layton and I in the office have uh, routinely give to any UNC students or postdocs or alums that we will help you to get in touch with people um, who are at a company that you're interested in learning more about or that you might have applied to. So to search for somebody um, in this case, so I can't search my own connections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search Becca Layton, my colleagues connections. And if you click on the search bar up here and click on all filters, then you'll see that there are, there's an option to uh, put the name of a connection in here. And Genentech is already selected over here. So if I put in Becca Layton's name, then as long as I'm a first order connection with her, then her name will pop up there. And then I can click on apply and it'll show me all of the people that are at Genentech that Becca is a, that Becca is connected to directly. So Valerie Reynolds, I'm not connected to her, but she's in Genentech's Government Affairs Office. And now I see down here that Becca Layton is a shared connection. So I could email Becca, who has given me the offer that she could make a connection for me at any time. I could say, hey, will you go into LinkedIn and find Valerie Reynolds' email address? And will you, will you send her an email and CC me so that I can get in touch with her? Uh, and that, of course, is something that um, I'm happy to do for anybody who's on the Career Blitz Planning Committee uh, or any UNC affiliated person. All right, let's, um, I wanna show you something else, another way. Say that you wanted to um, search for another company, Amgen, and you wanted to find um, people at Amgen. Um, again, here is, so this shows me that I'm connected to th three people at Amgen. Uh, there are 30,000 employees um, on LinkedIn. Actually, what I wanted, I wanted to do this a little differently. So I'm going to show you how to um, search the alumni of a company. So scratch what I just said about, uh, we're going we're gonna to do this a little bit backwards. So I'm going to type in a university that I'm affiliated with, UNC Chapel Hill. And if you go to the university's LinkedIn page, 
and scroll down, you see this little hidden tab, well not hidden, but it, not many people don't know about it. It's the alumni tab. If you click on this, it allows you to be able to search through all of the alumni of the university. Now the reason you might wanna do this is that generally there's goodwill between alums of a certain university or people who have worked at a certain company or have a connection, excuse me, at a certain university. So if I wanted to search, for example, Amgen here, then there are 314 UNC alumni that work at Amgen. And you can further um, drill down in these by where they work. So there are 72 that uh, work in the Raleigh-Durham area. If you click on the show more, then there are others here. So um, by putting Amgen in, it both gives people who currently work at Amgen as well as people who might have worked at Amgen at another time. That could still be valuable for you, especially if you are um, applying for a job there. You might want to talk to somebody who worked recently at Amgen but is not there right now. And so you could find people um, that way by searching those that uh, were at, I don't, at, are at another company. Um, then if you scroll down, you'll find the, the hits. So the, the 314 um, UNC alumni are here. You might want to further drill down by selecting only those that do research or business and business development. So let's just click on those that do research. So now we have people who are UNC alums doing research at Amgen. If I scroll down here, I see that most of these people are second order connections for me. But if I wanted to connect with them, I could click on this 11 shared connections. I could see who, say I wanted to reach out to Carrie Monda, who is an executive director, um, and I click on these 11 shared connections. I'm not sure why that isn't opening up right now. Let me try somebody else. Well, if I, so I have to click on their name apparently. And then it, this is another way to get to that same area. So for some reason, it wasn't allowing me to click on the 11 shared connections or the 39 shared connections. But if I click on that person's name and then click on these mutual connections here, I can scroll down through this list and say, oh, Tujan, I can ask Tujan to give me a uh, recommend or make an introduction to James. Um, and that way I could reach him, reach out to him if I needed to. So I wanna show you another way that you can do this same type of thing. Um, the, uh, so this might be helpful. Again, like I said, um, this is a way that you could um, make a connection with somebody and ask, say you're asking them to come to participate in an event that's at UNC. They're more likely to say yes if they're a UNC alum. Um, this also might be helpful if you were cold, if you were reaching out to somebody more in a, in a cold contact way. If you can say, hey, I'm a UNC student. I see that you're a UNC alum and I wanted to ask you what it's like working at Amgen they're more likely to say yes, the more you have in common with them. Um, you could also, of course, do this for your undergraduate institution, so, uh, or, or for any other institution. So um, in my case, I'm gonna type in University of Rochester. And that's where I did my PhD. So I can click on the alumni there, and I can search for um, either, so this time, instead of searching for um, a company, let's search for a job title. So maybe I want to talk to a medical science liaison. There are 574 U of R alums who have medical science liaison in their, um, in their title somewhere. Um, I could choose the area that they're working or the company that they're working for. Again, I could also search for those that are in certain types, either in research or healthcare services. I can drill down and then when I scroll down beneath, I'll see the people who are, um, who are hits um, using, those, uh, using those search criteria. So this alumni tool is really powerful. And there is a, another way to, to be able to look at the alumni, to get alumni information. Let me just show that to you as, a, as kind of a third part of this tutorial. So say that we wanted to go to another company um, and let's just say Eli Lilly.
So now it turns out that there are, I am connected, I have a first order connection um, at Eli Lilly with three different people, but let's say I didn't have any and I wanted to be able to reach out to somebody to invite them or to, um, or to learn more about the company. I could click on uh, all of the employees that work on LinkedIn at LinkedIn and that opens up this search and I can click on all filters. This is the same place where you could search to see if, for example, if, if I knew anybody there who I could introduce you to, or um, you can also come down here and put in the school. If I start typing in UNC Chapel Hill and I can choose alums of you who have a connection to UNC Chapel Hill and we're at Eli Lilly. Apparently um, this is a sister company or an, uh, a, some sort of a, an affiliation with Eli Lilly. So LinkedIn automatically selected that for me. Now if I click on apply, I'll get all of the people who are working at Eli Lilly and who are, have some sort of an affiliation with UNC Chapel Hill. I could go down through and either connect with those people um, which is more and more common to do. Even if you haven't ever met this person, you could, can, you could reach out to them and say, hey, I'm interested in your job title uh, and I'd like to talk with you about what Eli Lilly is like and we have this UNC connection in common. You could also, if you wanted to just get more information, uh, you could also select just those people who you're first order connections with. And let's see, okay, so there are a couple of people who I, who work at Eli Lilly, who I'm a first order connection with, who are um, UNC alums. So I could talk to, I could reach out and invite either of these people, for example, to be a Career Blitz um, uh, presenter. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, I hopefully that wasn't too long and it can be of service to those on the Career Blitz planning committee and uh, to anyone else too. Thank you very much.